everybody. My name is Shauma. That's my YouTube stage name. My real name is Ari. Today, I want to walk you through how to use teacher AI. So I've learned to have basic conversations in over 60 languages at this point. And it sounds kind of crazy, but it's actually not really that crazy. When you think about, you know, the fact that it only takes you a couple weeks, two to three weeks to learn to have a basic conversation. But people come up to me every day and ask, hey, Shama, how do you learn all of these languages? You know, and I could send people to apps or I could send people to courses and, and those things do work. What I really tell people is that the only way to actually learn to speak a language is to actually go and speak it. And the way that I've learned all these languages has essentially been through speaking practice, just pure speaking practice. You know, I sit down with a tutor for an hour a day and, you know, within a few weeks, I'm able to have basic conversations on all kinds of topics in any language that I want to learn. So I'm not really a genius. I just focus a lot on speaking practice. And the problem with most traditional courses and apps is that they don't give you enough speaking practice. And so it's been my dream for a very long time to figure out a way to get people to learn languages through actual speaking practice. And so when AI came along, I had this idea, hey, can we make an app where you can get speaking practice with AI rather than a human being? And so that's what teacher AI is. It's, it's important to be really clear here. Teacher AI is not designed to replace getting speaking practice with actual human beings. You still need to do that. But the point of teacher AI is to give you another option for getting speaking practice when it's not convenient with a human or it's too expensive or you only have, you know, five minutes during your bathroom break to get the speaking practice. So teacher AI, here's how it works. Um, we're gonna do this on the app, but you can also use the web app at yourteacher.ai, but we do have a lovely app these days. So let's open the app here. Teacher AI, very nice. So you pick your language. Right, we have over 25 languages at this point. Um, let's look at Chinese, right? You pick your teacher. Let's chat with AI Shama. Um, and you start a conversation and you can speak Chinese or your native language. Um, my native language is English, but if my native language were Spanish or I just wanted to study through Spanish, customize your teacher, instruction language, it's like Spanish, and then we could study through Spanish. But now I'll just show you this in English right now. Um, okay, and just click the speak button. Hey, Xiaoma, how's it going? Hey, Arie, I'm very teacher AI. Okay, so AI Shama just corrected me. Now, did you see these numbers at the top just flick up like that? So as you're talking, what happens is that your passive vocabulary and active vocabulary get updated. And so the app has a maintains a, a memory of the words that you've actively spoken right over here on the right, and the words that you've been exposed to passively, so over here on the left, right? So I've listened to 162 words in Chinese, and I've spoken 54 unique words. And so the idea is that the more you speak and the more you practice, those numbers will grow. 我觉得 teacher AI the corrections 很有用 Teacher dot I the corrections. Ying Gai Shu Teacher AI the Jiu Jung. The Jiu Jung. So I said corrections, it's telling me the Chinese way. Jiu Jung to use that. Um so and you notice our words just went up again. But let's say we didn't understand what Jiu Jung meant. 
right? We can just click on Joe Jung here, get our translation, very convenient. And also, by the way, when you click on that word, uh, it actually gets saved to a playlist of sorts. So let's go over here to our review section. Here you can just see the words that you speak and the words that you've understood. But you can also see, look at the icon, at the, your profile icon at the top right. Click review. Then click I learn. And so these are the words that, um, words that we might like to remember. So Jojo. So the next time I come back to have a conversation with AI Xiaoma, I can review these words that I'm confused about. Now, if we don't understand the whole message, like let's say, you know, you're a beginner, um, you just click on this little translation icon here to the right of the play button. And you get a nice little translation. Hey, Xiaoma, can you explain how to use Haiyo? I don't really understand it. Huh. So that makes sense. We get a nice explanation of how to use Haiyo over here. Um, and if you notice, by the way, Teacher AI can speak both your native language as well as the language you're studying. And you can use both when talking with your teacher. I, I personally, I like to get explanations of grammar topics in English because it's helpful for me as a native English speaker to have a more detailed understanding of the grammar than I might be able to fully comprehend in my target language. And so because teacher AI is bilingual, you're actually also able to speak both languages within a single sentence. Woyo sanga pingua. Hayo three oranges. Does that make sense? Ah, So my example sentence is correct. By the way, with Chinese, you know, if it's hard for you to read Chinese characters, you can also learn purely through pinyin. So you just press this button to the right of the play button here, and you can get pinyin, you know, for, uh, for all the characters. And we can do this for other languages as well. But let's say you're bored of Xiaoma and you want to you wanna swap teachers. All you have to do is click lower left icon here. And we can change to Benny, Ali, Xiaoling Wang. Um, and each language has its own set of teachers. So you can get used to different people's personalities. And by the way, many of these people are based on real life people. Like Benny and Ali are both real people. Xiaoling Wang is an AI creation, but... Uh, many of the languages have real live influencers from around the internet um, from whom you can learn their own native languages. I do want to talk about teacher preferences as well. So in the lower right, these three little dots over here, click that button, go to um, customize your teacher. And we have a bunch of options here that are great ways to personalize your own learning style. So you can choose your instruction language. Remember, if you want to learn Chinese through Spanish or you don't speak English, you just click, you know, this, uh, click to select your language in which your teacher teaches you, right? So your, your, your teacher can give you explanations in Swedish of Chinese grammar, which is really cool. Um, English usage. Let's say we wanted to have a monolingual conversation. We don't want our teacher to speak any English. So if you're a relatively advanced learner, just hit none, right? And so now Xiaoma will not speak English to us at all, only Chinese. Correction style, how your teacher corrects you. Um, correction frequency, right? Maybe you're not so concerned about getting a lot of corrections. Formality, maybe we want formal style, depending on what you're learning the language to do. Like, let's say you're learning it to have a lot of business meetings, it might be a better idea to speak with a more formal teacher. And speaking pace, right? You can go slow, 
very slow or normal. You know, and, and of course, how you use teacher AI is, of course, fully up to you. Um, and our teachers will try to prompt you to come up with interesting questions and, you know, they'll try to lead the conversation if you're not, if you're not trying to lead it in any particular direction. But the way that I love to use teacher AI is, you know, every day to have some kind of theme for what I'd like to learn and try to drive the conversation in a particular direction. So I love to role play, for example, with teacher AI, you know, you could, you could say, Hey, can we practice, um, let's say you're a bartender and I'm trying to order drinks, you know, it can, it, you can role play those real world conversations, which is just from my perspective, such an amazing use case for this technology. Um, but you can also talk about grammar or history or whatever you want. And of course with, Teacher AI, as with everything, consistency is key. And, you know, if you're only using it five minutes a day, that's better for the progression of your language skills than using it for one hour once a week. Um, it's really, you really only need a little bit of time, especially with languages that are similar to English, like and have a lot of cognates, like, you know, Portuguese or Spanish. You just need a really little bit of time with them every day to actually noticeably improve your speaking skills, which is really cool.